chip in after chip in after chip in. So with that being the theme of the round, there was a lot of movement on the Dow Great Lakes Bay Invitational Leaderboard. So let's talk about Wednesday. I'm Hope Barnett and you're watching LPGA Now. So in case you didn't already know, during this unique event, there are two days of alternate shot play on Wednesday and Friday, and two days of four ball on Thursday and Saturday. And man oh man, did these two master the first round of alternate shot. Besties Kelly Tan and Matilda Castron sit at the top at six under. I felt like we gelled really well today, honestly. Um, she struck the ball so good. Um, I had the chance to make the putt, and I mean, I think vice versa, we both played pretty good today, and there's no complaint. <laughs> I think she hit the ball really well today too, so that definitely gave me a lot of comfort. I knew she was going to hit it close, and I mean, I don't think you missed, it, missed any fairway, so. Trailing behind them, five under are the three teams of Yuka Sasso and Celine Boutier, Polly Mack and Selena Borga, and Amelia Lewis and Paula Rito. Celine had this birdie on 18. There you go, that looks good. Oh, they had fun. Yes, they did. Yuka made this shot out of the bunker look way easier than it was. Uh, if they can stay bogey free here. Wow. Oh, that was textbook. Birdie here. They're having a great day. But don't even get me started on this putt from downtown. Yes, she did. Yeah, what? just smile and wave, Selena. Folk be quite a stayed out of trouble. We hit the fairways and the greens and yeah, just tried to do our best on that every shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a good match. I think our, our games matched pretty well. Um, Selena's putter was hot and um, yeah. Now let's talk about these two, a fan favorite grouping of Jane Park and Paula Kramer. And the reason this duo is exceptionally special at Dow is because this is the first time Jane has teed it up in more than two years after sidelining her golf career when her daughter was diagnosed with a severe brain injury in 2021. Hopefully we get um, some eyes on the difficulties of uh, dealing with disability in America. Um, and um, it's, it's really my honor to to be out here. Um, I didn't think I'd ever find myself back uh, at an LPGA tournament. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a long few years and somehow somehow uh, our family has made it out of the rubble and um, to be here with my family again, it, it honestly means everything. I I would have never even dreamt that this would this could happen. So you may see some Grace hats around the course, and most importantly, on the sidelines, you'll see Grace, the sweet girl that her mom Jane is doing it for. Although it may be Jane's finale this week, her simple goal is to bring awareness to children with disabilities.